is very strong. Up. So, I am in the Olympic Peninsula, more specifically Port Angeles, uh, just right outside of Port Angeles. I've been feeling kind of burnt out and I was wondering why and thought about it and realized I had been traveling pretty much non-stop since the beginning of May uh, with the whole car situation and then, you, you know, if you've seen my past videos, um, so I was feeling a little burnt out. So I realized that I needed to slow down, take a break and just relax for like a week or two and not do anything. So I've been here for about a week now. I think I got here last Thursday and what have I been doing? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, I'm in this beautiful camp spot next to a river and it's also next to a road. So I get some vehicle traffic. However, still top tier in my book. Yeah, I think I'll be here for another week, maybe. I kind of don't want to leave, but like, I also want to see and do other stuff in Washington. In any case, I don't want to think about the future. I want to think about the now. And the right now is I want food. It's like 1 p.m. I've been in bed pretty much all morning. I'm, I'm, I'm taking this R&R very seriously, you guys. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to make some food and then take a dip in the water. A little swim. Well, I, I can't really swim because the river's not that deep, but I'm just gonna wade because it's pretty warm today, as you can tell. Well, maybe you can't, I don't know. It's really, <laughs> you can't tell, <laughs> but it's warm, <laughs> warmer than usual. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna go in the water today. First though, food, food, food.
So that was not enough cheese. I'm also going to add in this. <laughs> it's a chili oil that my friend makes. It is delicious. I've already had this a bunch of times. You guys know there's a sriracha shortage going around and this has been getting me through it. It doesn't taste like sriracha, obviously, but it is absolutely delicious. I'll leave a link to her Instagram in the comments. I don't know if she ships. I should ask her. I don't think she does. But if you're in like the Sacramento area, please message her, support her. But yeah, I'm gonna eat and then I'll see you at the river. Bye. Hi friends. It's actually not even that cold anymore. Excuse my hair. It's getting to this really awkward stage. But I got distracted and now there's still sun, but it's like, oh my God. Bugs are out. Get away from me. Get away. What are you? Oh my god. Ah! Okay, hold on. Fighting for my life out here. What was I saying? Oh yeah, it's not that hot anymore. But I promised you guys I was going to take a dip. So I'm going to take a dip. Ooh. Oh, it's cold. The rocks are very slippery. The algae, they're uh, they're out. Oh, I wish the sun was out right now. You know, it never gets any easier doing this. It is cold. Ooh. I don't know what feeds into this little river, but it is straight up ice water. Oh my God. So you know that thing called the call of the void when you're like walking or like in a really high place, like walking across a bridge or on a cliff and you look over and you hear something in your brain go jump or maybe you don't, but I get that. And I'm also going to coin another term, call of the water, because honestly, every time I see a river, a stream, a lake, I just hear something go. Get in loser, we're going shopping. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I hear something go. Get in the water. Get in, just jump in. And as you can tell from all of my videos, that voice wins. But yeah, call of the water. You heard it here first. So, when you live in a vehicle without easy access to basic necessities like a bathroom, one of the best feelings that I've discovered is walking into a freshly cleaned porta potty. Now, 
porta potties are known for being exactly sanitary, you know, but a freshly cleaned one, it feels like a chef's kiss, you know? It feels like you could do literally anything. And I never thought that I would feel this way about a porta potty. Stop. Bugs are out. So, in the spirit of rest and relaxation, okay, this fly. As I was saying, in the spirit of rest and, rest and relaxation, I've decided to paint. Now, full disclosure, I have not painted anything in years. I think the last time I tried to draw something, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, and I just thought... I heard a weird noise. Anyways, the last time I tried to draw something, it didn't turn out the way I had hoped. <laughs> and I just stopped. But I picked up this cute little watercolor set. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna attempt to do. This is what I'm going to attempt to paint. I think that picture I took was from the Cascades when I was there a couple of years ago. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna sketch first. <laughs> that's a rough sketch. I'm so far. Okay, I'm gonna paint now. It doesn't look that bad. I think it's coming together. This is what I got so far. <laughs> right? It doesn't look that bad. It's good. It's good. So I think I'm done. Okay. <laughs> so here is what I was trying to paint. <laughs> and here is what I painted. Like, it doesn't look that different, right? <laughs> okay, so I was trying to do the white clouds, but for whatever reason, this white isn't white. It kind of had a green tint to it. But you know what? I think it's great for somebody who hasn't painted in a very long time. Somebody validate me, please. But yeah, um, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm definitely gonna keep practicing this painting thing though, cause that was really fun. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.